in this video i'm going to show you how to create an amazing poster design in photoshop grab your mouse as we dive in so first and foremost we're going to create a new document choose a solid color we create a new layer grab a soft arm brush So we are going to set the foreground to this color we have copied, the hair code we have copied right now. Make the brush bigger by the right bracket key. And we just click once this way. So with the layer selected, we are going to scale it up, make it bigger. So let's grab our resources now. So first and foremost, we are going to copy this text style right here. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Right click and convert to smart object. Ctrl T to transform. So we make it bigger to cover the entire area. Then we are going to change the blend mode to soft light and reduce the opacity way down. We create a new layer. Grab the soft round brush, set foreground to white, and make the brush smaller by the left bracket key. Then we click once. With the layer selected, we are going to change the blend mode to overlay. Make a copy, Ctrl J. With the layer selected, Ctrl J. We make a copy. With the topmost layer selected, we change the blend mode to normal and reduce the opacity we are going to create an exposure adjustment layer with the mark selected we grab a soft arm brush opacity is 100 we set foreground to black Then we are going to make a few clicks. So we copy this layer, the eyes. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. Ctrl J to make a copy. With the layer selected, Ctrl J to make another copy. So we position it this way. Ctrl J, you make another copy. Right click and flip horizontal. Ctrl T, you right click and flip horizontal. Ctrl J to make another copy. So with the first, first two eyes layer selected, Ctrl G, we group. And the last three selected, Ctrl G, we group. So we have this one as the front layer. And we have this one as the back layer. So let's grab the Pepsi, the Pepsi can now. We are going to drop it beneath these two layers, the two groups, sorry. So we have it beneath, uh, be between the two groups. I'm just going to position this well.
So now let's grab this ice layer. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl V to paste. So we are going to drop that between the group as well. So on top of the Pepsi can. Right click and convert to smart object. We are just going to position it this way. So we are going to copy these particles now. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. We drop it also be between the, the two groups. Then we are going to apply a hue and saturation. So we are making it white. We clip it onto the layer. And we take the sliders down for white. So we are turning everything to white. Alright. So let's copy this fog now. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. We drop it also between the two groups. With the layer selected, we create a max. Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft time brush. Reduce the opacity. Set foreground to white. And we are going to paint. With the layer selected, we make a copy, Ctrl J. So we take this layer, the second layer above the group. And we are just going to make it bigger. So we are going to copy this smoke or fork background. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. We need more drama, you know. Convert to smart object, Ctrl C to transform. Then we are going to drop it between the two groups. So with the arrow keys, we take it up. We change the blend mode to screen. With the ice, uh, with the Pepsi can selected, we are going to be the solid color. So right click onto the layer and clip it onto the layer and create a clipping max. With the layer selected, we change the blend mode. We set the blend mode to normal. Right click on the layer and go for blending options. We are going to move this under. You hold Alt and you break the handles. Once we have it that way, we click OK. Alright, with the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert to grab a soft time brush. Set foreground to white. And we are going to paint some coldness or ice onto this can. So we are going to create another solid color. Right click onto the layer and create a clipping mask. Turn the blend mode to overlay. So you right click onto the layer again and go for blending options. Same way we are just going to move this line that hold alt and break the handles. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert with ground brush. And we are just going to paint. We 
So let's grab this. Let's grab this particular layer and now. Convert to smart object. Conclude thing. We make it bigger. So we are layer selected, we change the blend mode to screen. Then we are going to create a level adjustment layer onto the layer. So we clip it onto the layer. With the layer selected. We create a max. Grab a subtrain brush. Ctrl I to invert so everything goes. We increase the opacity. We set foreground to white. And we are going to paint. So we are actually painting some back. But we don't need everything around. So we will just paint some little. Then this is cool. So the two layers selected, Ctrl G to make a group. With the group selected, Ctrl J to make a copy. Then we'll use the opacity for the second group. We're going to create a case adjustment layer. So let's grab this item, Ctrl C to copy, it's what that's plus, then we are going to drop this layer way down. So we have it right here. Then we are going to change the blend mode to screen. So let's grab this current tab. Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste. We are going to apply an exposure adjustment layer onto it. So we clip it onto the layer. With the max selected, Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft term brush. Okay, now we are going to paint some shadows. Let's reduce the opacity. So we are going to create another exposure adjustment layer. So we right click onto this layer and go for blending options. Remove the slider. Hold Alt. And we break the handles. With the layer selector, we reduce the opacity just a bit. Once everything is in place, we just press Ctrl Alt Shift E to match all layers. Right click on the layer, convert to smart object. Then go for camera or so filter, camera or filter. And we are just going to play with all these settings. Once that is done, you just click OK. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, stay creative.